Good morning. Uh, it's early morning this week. I'm behind the creek, in the creek behind my house. I don't know if you can hear it. You can hear some of the birds. Everything's just waking up. So I'm here um, to talk to you about our seven sacred teachings uh, and our second one this week. Last week we talked about love and I real, really feel strongly about that sacred teaching. But it's important to know that not of all these seven sacred teachings, not one is more important than the other, is that they're all, they all work together. They all, they're all the same weight. Like it's not like, you know, really, you know, value love, but you know, the one I'm talking about respect today is eh, not so much. No, they all are important and they all um, work together uh, in this belief that we work with Mother Earth and all living things. So these seven sacred teachings are for um, all living things, even yourself. Okay? So the second sacred teaching I wanted to talk to you about today is respect. And if you recall, I put it up on the bulletin board and it had the buffalo. So respect is a feeling. Respect is like a something inside right when you respect something it's it's a way of a way of how you should feel um and it, respect is honoring um living something living right so respect is for all living things and they used buffalo as a symbol because um the indigenous saw the buffalo as a way to sustain them for a long time right they could use the the hide for clothing and for you know making uh using for drums and for for water bags and uh the flesh of course was for food and the bones were for uh tools and so they could re use the whole animal and they only took what they needed they never you know hunted for fun or hunted for um pleasure or just to you know just to shoot something respect is in and that's how we should think of it too right like we should not use things or do things like we should be respectful to mother nature to mother earth um and to each other and also to yourself um so thinking about that today how can you show respect to yourself And how do you show respect um, to your parents, to the people in your life, um, and even people that you don't necessarily know, or maybe sometimes you don't like? It's like uh, there's always going to be people in your life. Sorry, I just got to readjust. There's always going to be people in your life that you might have difficulty with, and this is one I struggle with. There's there's always going to be people you know that. Cut, that might cut me off in the lane or, or um, you know, when I'm driving or, you know, say something that I don't think is necessarily appropriate. But instead of me getting mad, I have to think about, well, I don't know their story. I don't know what's happened with them. Maybe they've had a bad day. Maybe, you know, some things happen in their life that's not... Um, really good right now so instead of me you know saying oh what a jerk what a you know I just got to respect that person and and live and let live kind of thing so I'm just wondering what you guys can do this week to show respect so how do you show respect for mother earth and it's not just a you know oh this spy wants me to go pick up some garbage but more like there's something really neat about sitting in nature. In Mother Earth and just taking a look around and listening um, and thinking of how you can show respect. 
this is a creek behind my house. And this spring, you guys know, the snow melted really fast. And the water in my creek came up and up and up. And I watched every day and I was wondering if, you know, it'd come over the banks and come from my house. And I have to say, I show a, a respect for Mother Earth because she she's a she's a powerful force right so thinking about how do you how can you show respect this week how can you show respect for yourself how can you show us respect mother earth and how do you show respect for your family like what are some things you could do or you could say and really thinking about this one this one's important too. They're all important. They're all inter interconnected. Um, and how how thinking about respect is in you know uh, how not to bring harm to yourself or to other people. Maybe maybe that's the way you want to look at it. Um, yeah, respect. It's an interesting one. So we're just gonna sit. Um, I'm just going to sit and listen with you for a couple seconds to Mother Earth. You listen long enough, she talks to you. So thank you. Thank you for joining me again this week. So thinking about that respect and um, how do we show, like I say, courtesy, respect? How do we not harm, only take what we need from all living things? Okay. I'll see you guys next week. Have a wonderful week.